everyone, it's Gemma and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be baking jam-filled cookies. So let's get to it. This is another recipe that my Nona taught me and the ingredients you will need are two and a half cups of flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, three quarter cups of sugar, three eggs, three quarter cups of vegetable oil, I use canola oil, half a lemon zest or lemon or orange flavoring, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a bowl, mix the flour, sugar, and baking powder together. Then set it aside. In a second bowl, Mix the eggs, oil, lemon flavoring, and vanilla until combined. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Now, pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. And mix it with a spatula or a fork until it is all absorbed. Now, flour your board. Transfer your dough onto your board. Next, work the dough with your hands and add flour if needed. When the dough feels smooth and doesn't stick to your hands, it's ready. Roll it out just like so and cut it in the center. Now, put one half aside. With your hand, flour your board well, flatten the dough, and with your rolling pin, roll rectangular shape about as long as the size of your rolling pin. Now, as you can see, it's just as wide as my rolling pin. For the filling, you will need jam. It can be whatever type you would like. Today, I am using strawberry. Spread a thin layer of jam all the way up to just past the center, like so. Now, we need to roll it up. With the help of a spatula, put it under the dough, just like this, and then flip it over. You can do that all the way up to here. Keep the seams at the bottom so it stays closed. You can now shape it better with your hands. Place it on a cookie sheet with parchment paper and repeat it with your other side of dough. Next, put them in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown. Now that they are ready, while it is still hot, you can sprinkle some icing sugar over top. Now that our cookies have cooled down, you can transfer and then cut them. We are done. This is our cookie. See how you can see the jam? Now you can plate your dessert.
This is our finishing touch. Here are the cookies that we have made. If you haven't already, give this video a nice big thumbs up and subscribe. Enjoy!